Hi, welcome to Dixie Storytime World. In this wonderful book, you can find out about different types of plants and trees. You can learn about the part of a plant and how we get food from plants. Imperfect plants. Chapter 1. Plants. Do you know what these are? Daisy, oak tree, cucumber, cabbage, snowdrop. That's right. They are all types of plants. Plants are living things just like you are. Living things grow. They move and react to their surroundings. All living things need air, water and nutrition to help them grow. There are so many different types of plants. Some are big, like the beech tree. Some have flowers, like the magnolia tree. Some are small, like the bluebell. Some have cones, like the larch tree. Plants can be found all over the world. In this book, we will learn all about how plants are similar and different to one another. Chapter 2. Parts of a plant. These are the different parts of a plant. Let's learn about each part. Leaves. Flowers, fruit, roots, stem, and petals. Roots take in water and nutrients from the soil and keep the plant in the ground. Flowers attract insects and birds. Leaves catch sunlight to help the plant to make its own food. Petals are special leaves that can be white or colored that form part of the flower. Fruit contains the plant's seeds. The stem holds the plant up and carries the water and nutrients from the roots to the leaves and flowers. Some parts of plants grow in different seasons. When do you think flowers usually grow? Chapter 3. How Plants Grow Plants can grow from seeds or bulbs. 1. This plant grows from a seed. 2. When the time is right, the seed starts growing roots and a shoot. 3. The plant grows bigger and bigger and grows its stem and leaves. Some plants grow flowers and fruit. 4. Seeds made by the plant can then go on to grow new plants. Plants grow well when they get all the things they need. Have you ever helped an adult to look after a plant? What kind of things did you do? Plants look very different when they are fully grown. Maple seeds and look at the maple tree. Daffodil bulbs and look at those beautiful daffodils. Did you know one sunflower is actually made up of lots of tiny flowers? Chapter 4. Garden Plants Plants that we choose to grow in a garden are called garden plants. There are lots of different types of garden plants. Some grow flowers, but others do not. You have the sweet pea, fern, rose, lavender and the iris. Did you know, as well as growing flowers, the rose plant also grows a fruit called a rose hip? It usually looks like a red berry. Have you seen any of these types of garden plants? Marigold, hosta, fuchsia and a pansy. Bees are plant helpers. Plants need bees to help them to make more plants. Animals need plants for food. So bees are very, very important. How can people get more bees in their garden? People can plant bee-friendly plants. Bees love plants like the common poppy, lavender and foxglove. They could even make their own bee hotel for the bees to rest in. Chapter 5. Wild Plants 
Wild plants are plants that grow wherever their seed falls. Cow parsley, dandelions, nettles, and of course, grass. Have you seen any of these types of wild plants? Wild garlic, plantain, and blackberry brambles. When wild plants grow where we don't want them to, we call them weeds. Where have you seen these wild plants grow? Dandelions, buttercup, clover. Did you know most clovers have three leaves? Four leaf clovers are very rare and many people think that finding one is lucky. Thistle. Did you know a thistle is prickly to touch? It grows its spiky leaves to help to protect itself from being eaten by animals. Chapter six, trees. A tree is also a type of plant. Can you see the same parts? Roots, branches, fruit, leaves, blossom and bark. The rough bark protects the wood inside. Did you know the trunk of a tree is its stem? It has to be strong to hold it up. Inside a tree trunk, a new ring appears every year. This helps scientists find out how old a tree is. Why are trees important? Trees help to keep our environment healthy. They provide food and homes for many different animals. The wood from trees is used to build with. It is also used to make paper. Can you spot anything around you that is made out of wood or paper? Well, it came from a tree. Are these trees growing anywhere in your local area? The ash tree, cedar tree and the hawthorn tree. Chapter 7. Deciduous trees are trees that lose their leaves in autumn. Look at how this tree changes over the different seasons. Look at it in spring, then in summer it's nice and green, autumn it's turning brown, and in winter no more leaves. Here are some other deciduous trees. How are they similar to one another? How are they different? We have the aspen tree, pear tree, plum tree, and the elm tree. Evergreen trees. Evergreen trees have their leaves all year round. Look at how this tree keeps its leaves during the different seasons. Spring, summer, autumn, winter, all the same. Here are some other evergreen trees. How are they similar to one another? How are they different? Cedar tree, Scots pine and the spruce tree. Did you know Spruce trees are used by many people as Christmas trees. Chapter 8. Food from Plants All of the fruit and vegetables we eat come from plants. The fruit that grows from some plants contains their seeds. If they are planted, these seeds can then grow into new plants with more fruit. Did you know? Seeds need to spread around so that new plants can grow in different places. One way they spread is when animals eat the fruit. How do you think this helps seeds to spread? Think about it. Fruit can grow on trees, bushes and plants that are often close to the ground. Here are some different types of fruit plants. Black currant bush, gooseberry plant, raspberry bush, and the cherry tree. Did you know not all fruit can be eaten by people? Never ever eat fruit you find unless an adult says it's okay. Vegetables come from different parts of the plant. Sometimes we can eat the whole plant and sometimes we can only eat part of it. Did you know the seeds of some plants can be eaten such as pumpkin seeds, bulbs, some vegetables are the bulb of a plant, such as onions and garlic. Some vegetables are the leaves of the plant, such as cabbages. Some vegetables are the flowers of the plant, such as cauliflower and broccoli.
Here are some more vegetables. Have you eaten any of them before? What is your favorite vegetable? Celery, turnips, kale, cauliflower. Did you know most of the carrots we buy are orange, but they can also be purple, red, yellow, and even white? Now kids, you've got a quiz here. So with the help of an adult, put the video on pause and try answering them. Enjoy, thank you for listening and learning.